Hello! So I have a wonderful video for y'all today. It is all about how the French colonized the Le Maghreb. <laughs> Maghreb. Mag Algeria, Tunisia, and Morocco. And honestly, that created such a big effect. It's like, why do these Arab countries speak French? Well, that's why. I'm going to tell you all about it. This colonization actually has so much effect on things nowadays still. So it's very important. I hope you enjoy this video and give it a like. Okay, so it all started out as we have the Kingdom of Morocco. And then we have Algeria and Tunisia were actually part of the Ottoman Empire at that time. And so then, in 1930, France captures Algeria, and yeah, that's how it all starts. Basically, out of those three, Algeria was the first country that France really colonized, and it was actually the worst of them. They were very harsh and tried to force Western culture on Algeria, and about a third of Algerians died due to colonization. So they, yeah, they weren't, they weren't happy. Basically, all Algerians in Algeria became second class to the French that were coming and moving in. I mean, how would you feel to be like downgraded in your own country and all these foreigners were better than you? Not very happy, right? So yeah, that was not the best time, but Algeria was actually the only one of the three to become actually a part of France. It was called Algérie Française, I believe. And yeah, some of them were actually like given French rights. They were really trying to make Algeria a part of France, but it came with trying to kind of take their culture and their traditions and it wasn't great. It was a very hard time for Algeria. So next is Tunisia. They were part of the Ottoman Empire, but they had a great leader and reformer named Ahmed Bey, and it was great, but eventually things just started slipping and the state of Algeria started just kind of declining, and the French swooped in and, you know, kind of captured Algeria. Tunisia, my bad. And that was in 1881 that the French took over Tunisia. But the nice thing was, Bey was actually still allowed to be the technical leader for Tunisia and they still kind of had their rights and stuff. It wasn't quite as bad as Algeria. Are you ready for Morocco? You know I am, I love Morocco. Don't worry, I love Algeria and Tunisia as well. Now for Morocco, Ashley Maghreb. Morocco was the last of the Maghreb countries to be colonized by France, and that happened in 1912. But both Morocco and Tunisia were colonized as a protectorate. Not exactly sure what that is. But it basically means that they were still allowed to have some freedom and independence and kind of their governments ran side by side with France, I believe. And so, yeah, that was great, you know, not quite as harsh and some great things came from that. So they were allowed to keep the Moroccan traditions and the Islamic culture and that coexisted with the new French influence. And honestly, I think it created a beautiful blend. Am I right? And yeah, it wasn't like stripped away and like those things forced to die like in Algeria. But yeah, they were just, they blended and coexisted. And y'all, that's what we wanted, okay? We want some beauty, right? We want to see like, you know, like I'm sure Morocco was beautiful before. But like, I feel like the French influence, like, that did, that changed Morocco a lot. I'm sure it changed Algeria and Tunisia as well. That's like, I don't know. I, I haven't studied Morocco that much before, but I, I 
think the French did add some beauty to it. And don't forget the baguettes, y'all. Baguettes. French, like, they gave you the language and they gave you some great food, too. <sighs> y'all, colonization and, like, countries taking over your country, that's, it's never really great. But, you know, I think it's important to always look on the bright side and to look at the great things you get out of this. And you know what? After World War II, all three of these countries regained their independence and have had it ever since. And so, and they learned, I bet, from the French colonization. And now they have super cool dialects that the rest of the Arabs can't understand. I don't know about you, but th that's a plus. It's like secret language. Ha ha ha. We suffered, so ha ha ha, we can speak a super cool dialect. Uh-huh. And so that was around 1956. So Morocco actually was the one that was least affected by the French colonization because they were in it the least and it was the least like violent, but yes, they all were. And this was a fascinating piece of history, I hope you enjoyed and if you did learn anything from this video please give it a like and if any if you'd like to share anything about it comment and if you're not already definitely subscribe because i make some awesome videos and i'll see y'all next time and hopefully make a video on arabic soon for y'all or french because you know Bye.